Hey beauties! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Riri, and if you're new here, I'm an over 40 lover of all things beauty and indie brands. Today's video is my Ipsy and my BoxyCharm for April. Alright beauties, before we dive in, please don't forget to thumbs up the video if you like what you see, subscribe down below if you have not yet, and turn on your post notifications so that you're notified when I upload a new video, which is typically Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I think we're going to dive into our Ipsy Glam Bag first, and if you are unfamiliar with the Ipsy Glam Bag, this is the regular OG bag, the one that I've gotten for the longest of all my subscription boxes. For $12 monthly, you'll get a small makeup cosmetic bag, and then five sample Try Me travel size items. Occasionally, we get a full size item. They're very generous like that sometimes. Um, and my profile is I am very comfortable with makeup. I have light to medium skin. I have colorful hair, brown eyes, and I want more skincare than makeup. So we're gonna dive on in. You guys know I do not get any spoilers. I like to be surprised, so we're gonna dive in. I will say this feels incredibly light this month. Like, it feels like there's nothing in my bag. So let's dive in. I feel a brush. I love getting brushes. <laughs> that bag is not cute, honey. Um, so we have a bow. Not even going to try it. G-A-C-H-I-S. This is the Concealer Perfecting Brush. It looks like the Rare Beauty Brush. So I'm inquisitive about this. It feels very nice. We have gotten a couple of these bow brushes in the past and they are very good quality. The weight is nice. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited about this. Already starting off with a bang. The bag, however, and it's just personal taste, I, I think it's hideous. Um, it's just like a canvas bag with some corals and some teals, some blues, and then the cute little zipper pull right here. So let's dive in and see what we got this month. You also get an information card, so we'll dive into that in just a moment. So the first thing I feel, oh, Nomad. I love Nomad Cosmetics. This is a Nomad Toscana I guess single eyeshadow? Yes, intense eyeshadow. So super cute little sample. Ooh, very pretty. It's this beautiful kind of mauve metallic shade. I am gonna swatch it for y'all. That is what that looks like. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, yeah. And their quality is fantastic. They're one of my favorite indie brands. Um, also, I am sans makeup right now, aside from my brows, because what I'm going to start doing, hopefully my Ipsy and Boxy come around the same time each month like they did this month. Um, so I'm going to unbox everything, and then we'll do a little try-on towards the end of the video. So, so far, so good. I'm actually pretty happy. Again, it felt incredibly, incredibly light. Next up is a Coco Kind Moisturizer. Um, packaged in a sugar cane made tube. Nice. Texture smoothing cream with celery super seed complex. Plumping and retexturizing for bright youthful skin. I'm actually impressed. I think I'm going to like this a whole lot. I do already have moisturizer on and my SPF, so I won't be trying this today, um, but I will update you guys when I do test it out, but that sounds pretty damn cool. Next up, I see the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I'm already going to tell you I don't like this mascara. Um, Personally, don't know why it's overhyped the way that it has been. Um, so I'm going to put this in my little giveaway pile. But to each their own. If you like it, you do you. And then last is a teeny tiny little tube of something I know I already love. This is the Hey Honey Trick and Treat Lip Balm in Watermelon. I've actually almost gone through an entire one of these. So I already know I love this. It is incredibly thick, incredibly rich and emollient. I love sleeping with this overnight. It is fantastic and it smells amazing like a Jolly Rancher. So I'm actually very, very happy. I definitely think I got my $12 worth for sure. Um, so we got the Hey Honey Lip Balm, our Milk Makeup Mascara, our Cocoa Kind Moisturizer, our Brush, and our Nomad Single Shadow. Let's read up on some deets and then we'll dive into our BoxyCharm. So this month, April 2021, is the Force of Nature. And whether you love your naked face, I do, or you feel naked without your red lipstick, do what feels natural to you. Amen. When confidence is the first step in your routine, you can't be stopped. I love that. Okay. So, the Hey Honey Trick and Treat Watermelon Lip Balm with a Natural Tint. This super hydrating formula has quickly become our go-to for a hit of hydration whenever 
wherever. The subtle pink tint gives your lips a pretty natural looking your lips but better look. Did we mention it smells like a fresh watermelon smoothie? Um, this is a deluxe sample. The full size of this is $28. The Nomad Cosmetics Nomad Tus Tuscany Intense Eyeshadow in Aperitivo. This shimmery rose quartz shadow is the perfect shade for spring and thanks to grapeseed oil, this moisturizing formula has the most incredible color payoff. This is a deluxe sample and the full size would be $27. The Coco Kind Texture Smoothing Cream. Good skin days are ahead. This silky lightweight cream is packed with potent plant extracts, celery extract, flax seed, ginger root extract, and subaki seed oil to be exact to provide skin with all day hydration while minimizing the look of large pores, fine lines, and rough texture. That sounds like me, honey. This is a deluxe sample. The full size is $20. The Milk Makeup Kush High Volume Mascara Mini. No lash left behind. This conditioning mascara is infused with hemp-derived cannabis oil to make your lashes long and lush, and heart-shaped fibers that lock onto lashes for major volume and lift. Plus, the tapered brush has crisscross bristles that coat every lash. Um, this is a deluxe sample. The full size will be $24. The Bow G-A-C-H-I-S Concealer Perfecting Brush. You haven't seen a concealer brush like this before. Made with densely packed syn synthetic bristles and a 40 degree angled brush head that hugs the contours of your face. It is the perfect tool for applying and blending concealers around your eyes, nose, and lips. And that is $17 by itself. So I absolutely love this overall. Um, I think I did get only one skincare item. Well, technically, I guess two, the lip balm, um, but I'm not mad at it. I think that it's a well-rounded bag. We got some makeup, some skincare, a tool. So for 12 bucks, do I think it was worth it? Yes, I do. Now we're going to dive into our boxy charm. I will say, unlike my Ipsy bag, she feels hefty, honey. She feels like a hefty little thing. So Maybe we got a really good box this month. Let me get my scissors out. This is the standard boxy charm. This is a $25 monthly subscription where you receive five full size makeup, beauty, skincare type of items. Um, and it's supposed to have a retail value of at least $125. This is one of my all time favorite boxes. I feel like the bang for your buck is there. I feel like if you're really looking for something to test the waters with the subscription box, get your feet wet with tons of different brands, I think this is the way to go. Personal preference. So we're going to dive in. <gasps> oh. So this month is Boxy Charm Sweet Treats. Let me cover the back up. And then there is my version right here. Again, it feels incredibly heavy, and right on top, I see something that says Unicorn. So the first thing I see on top says Unicorn Dust by Trend Beauty. Never heard of them, but y'all know I'm all about indie brands and finding new brands. They are cruelty-free. I do like that. The packaging is super, super cute. It feels pretty lightweight, but I'm not mad at it. Let's open it up. The unit carton and the actual component are the exact same. Oh, okay. I thought it was a, an eyeshadow palette, like a little mini eyeshadow palette. It is actually a highlight trio. Oh, I love that, honey. You have a little bit of a mirror. We have fantasy, mystical, and dreamer. So more of a pinky tone, more of a kind of deeper champagne gold, and then a light kind of more neutral one. I'm very intrigued. We'll swatch it and dive into it in just a moment. Next up, I see a another Natasha Denona palette. Y'all. Yeah. This is the Natasha Denona Jubilee 5 Eyeshadow Palette. Holy crap. I'm excited. I love Natasha Denona. And the last one, whoa. And the last one we got, I was obsessed with. And these are typically like exclusive to Boxy. Um, so this is what it looks like. My pink did come a little bit broken right here. And there's a little bit like, and there's a little bit of crumbling right here. Um, I don't mind that. I think this is a super cool, funky little like palette. You have a little neutral, you have your pop of pink, a pretty yellow. And I'm not sure if this is black or green. I can't really tell just yet. Of course, we'll get into it. And then a pretty metallic green. I'm excited. Next up, this is probably why our box is so heavy this month. This is the Terre de Mars. This is the Redition Body Cleanser. I've never heard of this. I've never heard of this brand. Um, I do see that they are made in France. I do also see that they are cruelty-free and vegan. So 
I'm intrigued. We're going to read up on this because um, I know nothing about that. Next up is a Dragon Beauty Color Corrector in lavender. If you're unfamiliar with lavender, lavender helps to brighten and illuminate and kind of take away sallowness and dullness to the skin. Um, I've wanted to try this brand for a while, so I'm really excited to have this. And it's a newer type of product too, so hell yeah. Uh, another reason why this is, I'm sure, so heavy, this is the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Icy Sherbet Primer, silicone free and cooling effect. Let me make sure, because I think I already have this. Yes, I do. So I'm actually going to put this one in my giveaway. I've never tried this yet. I'm gonna put this into a giveaway and I'll keep the big full size one. Um, but if you've been here at all, you know I love Touch and Soul Primers. They are some of my all time favorites, especially for somebody like me that has more mature, aging, dry, dehydrated skin, textured skin. Um, just the level of hydration and moisturization I get from their products prior to putting on Color Cosmetics, cannot say enough. And the fact that this is a jumbo size, uh, yes please. So I'm, I'm over the moon. We're gonna read up on stuff and we are going to get ready and we're gonna play with some of these makeup products. So let me put this to the side. All right, BoxyCharm Sweet Treats. The Natasha Denona Jubilee Eyeshadow Palette. A special edition palette created exclusively for BoxyCharm, featuring five colorful, ultra pigmented shades that bring together a combination of celebration and balance between bold and pastel tones. I like that. This fun palette is packed with Natasha's iconic, buttery smooth formulas made with the highest quality pure color pigments, dazzling chroma crystals, and luminous pearls. Use it for a variety of creations from playful, colorful, modern looks to everyday wear with a pop of color. Suitable for every skin tone, cruelty free and allergen free. And it's $48. That is worth more than the price of the box. Very exciting. The Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Icy Sherbet Primer. <laughs> Lock your looks in place and keep them cool with Icy Sherbet Primer. This gel primer has an instant cooling effect once applied that hydrates and preps your skin for makeup. The formula is silicone free with water capturing technology to lock in moisture and leave your skin feeling silky smooth. And this is $32. The Dragon Beauty Dragon Fire Color Corrector. The Dragon Fire Color Corrector helps to conceal, correct, and perfect the appearance of dark circles, discoloration, and blemishes. Saturated with vitamin E and vitamin A, it blends effortlessly and offers customizable light to full coverage. To make your makeup look even more flawless, apply it anywhere you'd like to correct and neutralize and blend with a flat concealer brush or beauty sponge. After it sets, apply your foundation as normal. And that is $25. Again, worth the price of the entire box. The Trend Beauty Unicorn Dust. Get the magical unicorn glow with a trio highlighter palette that features three shades of unicorn magic. These shimmering powder, these shimmering powders will add the perfect sparkle to your face. And that is $12.50. If this works, then it's only $12, y'all. I'm also going to go follow them. I always, always follow indie brands once I see them in subscription boxes. Um, and then the Terre de Mar, the 008 Redition Body Cleanser, an organic low foaming, aromatic, and soft cleanser suitable for all skin types. Infused with bioactive ingredients such as coffee ooh, and rosemary extracts infusion with verbena, infusion with verbena oil. Together, they tone, purify, and protect the skin while aloe vera nourishes and softens it. And that is $22. And I'll put the total of our box right here. That is fantastic. I am going to go ahead and say this is one of my favorite boxes I've received thus far through Boxy. Let's get the box out of our way. I'm excited to dive into this. So first up, we're definitely going to dive into our Pretty Filter Icy Sherbet Primer Silicone Free and Cooling Effect. And it does have the little seal on it. Oh, it looks so weird. It looks like a cool little jelly. Oh, that is neat. Like you can kind of push it down and it's not like sticking to my fingers or anything. That is quite cool. I am honestly just going to take the little bit that is on here. I don't know how much to use. So I'm going to use like this much. It does feel quite cooling even. Okay, that's cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it smells lovely. It has a slight rose scent. So if you have an aversion to rose, you're probably not going to like this. Oh my gosh, that smells nice. 
and I'm not typically a gel fan. Um, I'm very strange about consistency and texture of products, but it feels incredible. Definitely cooling. It doesn't have a whole lot of slip to it. And I feel like it's drying pretty instantly. Ooh, that feels nice, you guys. Oh, I love the smell. And that texture is so cool. Like, very, very cool. And you get a lot of product, too. And you guys saw I used very little. Okay, I like that. So far, so good. Next up, I'm going to go into the Dragon Beauty Color Corrector. Again, the shade was Lavender. That is cute. Really cute. Again, this is my first time trying anything from Dragon Beauty. And for me personally, if I'm using lavender, I go right under the eyes. It's a little thinner of a formula than I thought it was going to be. And it does not smell good. And then I'm going to go over my little brown areas here. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't put a whole lot of product on, which maybe you don't need a lot. We'll see when I start spreading it out. Um, the component's nice. It does feel heavy. I don't like the scent. Then we're going to dive into our new brush. And we are going to see what happens. Okay, it does curve really nicely and kind of fit perfectly right in between here. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, a, a little does go a long way. I'm actually pretty shocked by that because you can kind of still see my skin through it. Huh. Ooh, I like that. Definitely brightening. And I really like this brush too. I kind of have been avoiding, I wanted to get the Rare Beauty one, um, but I was kind of avoiding it because like maybe it's too big, maybe it's not going to fit, you know, kind of properly underneath the eyes. But... I do have to say, I think this works beautifully. Definitely brightening. And don't be concerned either um, if you see a purple cast or if you're using green, if you see a green cast, peach, etc. Once you place your foundation on top, you're not going to see this. Um, I'm just going to go in with my Huda Beauty foundation stick in the shade Cheesecake, and then I will be RB. All right, beauties, we are back, darlings. I'm now going to go into the Unicorn Dust Palette from Trend Beauty, and we will go ahead and swatch these. So we have Fantasy, Mystical, and Dreamer. I think they are so pretty. Ooh, okay. Not mad at it, y'all. So let's test these out. I think I'm going to go in between Mystical and Dreamer. Not a lot of kickback. And let's see what they look like. Oh, very pretty. Oh, wow. Very pretty. <laughs> Quite intense as well. No glitter or anything like that, which I like. No, like, really big particles in there, which I also do not like. It's applying beautifully and it's like blinding but very pretty very glass like I don't feel like it's emphasizing texture or anything Ooh! and for $12 it doesn't smell the best not gonna lie <laughs> but wow is it beautiful Ooh! Okay, I'm going to throw on a little bit of bronzer, I think, really quickly. I'm going in with my Bare Minerals bronzer in the shade Faux Tan. Oh, yeah, I like that. That is really beautiful. I mean, you guys, that is as pretty as some very high-end highlighters that I have used. Okay, I like it. I'm really liking this stuff so far, you guys. I did also prime my lids with my ABH eye primer. We're now going to dive into the Natasha Denona Jubilee eyeshadow palette. And I will do some swatches for you guys really quickly. All right. So we have Vintage Taupe, Intense, Limoncello, gorgeous, and Enigma, which is a deep, beautiful navy. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Um, they swatch. They swatch incredibly. They always do, in my personal opinion. Oh, that. Oh, that's beautiful, you guys. Oh, yes. And then we also have Mint Frost. 
which looks like this up close. And let's swatch her right here. Oh, it's so pretty. I love that this is so different and so unique. I don't think I've ever seen these colors kind of paired up together. So I think because I do also want to play with this one as well, um, I'm just going to go into the taupe shade. Again, that was called Vintage Taupe. And I'm going to use a big, humongous brush and do just like a soft, diffused look with this. And most of the time, um, I have found it to be pretty true, aside from, I think, the Tropic palette um, from Natasha Denona, which I hated. It, it was not a good palette, in my personal opinion. Um, but most of the time, I find that everything, you know, the, the staying power is there. The saturation of color is there. What you see in the pan is also what you see on your lids. Um, I've, I've never had an issue, again, other than that particular palette. So I just want just a wash of this color. Then I'm going to go into the Pretty Pink, which was called Intense. I'm actually getting a little bit more kickback than I typically do, but I will also say this is more of a kind of dense, scratchy brush, if you will. Oh, very nice, very nice. And again, I want to kind of blow it out just a little bit. I just want a subtle kind of wash of color, if you will. But I've always found that they blend incredibly well. Um, I just, I, I like the quality. Um, you know, whether or not you choose to spend $130 on a, you know, a full size palette, that's on you. Um, I did get my Metropolis palette, which I love. Um, I did get that when it was like the VIB and got 15% off. So, you know, kind of wait for a sale if it is something that you're like, hey, I really want to try that. I really would love to have one of her palettes. Um, I will personally say I don't think you would be disappointed at all. If you genuinely love the color story of the palette that you pick, I don't, I don't see you being disappointed. Okay, so far so good. I think I'm going to go ahead and test out that Enigma shade, which is that beautiful, this is more for like kind of cream satin type of formula. Um, I think I'm going to put this on the lower lash line. It may look like shit. That's okay. I just want to try it out. Um, and I'm going <laughs> to... Houston? Oh, I love that pink with the blue. Oh my word. Ooh, baby. Um, this is quite intense, you guys. Holy crap. <laughs> and I barely tapped in this too, so you definitely could get, I mean, super, super high color payoff with this. Wow. Oh, that's pretty. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I love that. Ooh. Okay, so I already know I was gonna love this. And we're also gonna dive into our Nomad shadow. So I'm just gonna use my finger and we're gonna press this in the front part of the lid. Um, I always just use my fingers. I feel like it's your best tool. I feel like with a shimmer metallic shade, you get the best color payoff, but this is my preferred method. And it is beautiful, just as I thought it was going to be. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is so pretty. So I'm, I'm blown away, you guys. I'm super duper excited. Um, this is incredible. I did not think I was going to like this. I'm, again, very worried about texture. Um, and I don't typically like jelly-like you know, products, um, but it's not sticky. It wasn't tacky or anything like that. But it also wasn't like super slippy either. It's like the perfect balance. Um, and I think the foundation laid on top of it beautifully. This I really like. It was a lot thinner than I thought it was going to be, but I still feel like it did brighten. Um, the scent is not the best, not gonna lie on that, and you don't get a whole lot on the actual applicator, um, but nonetheless, it still worked great. This little diamond in a rough right here, that is incredible. I cannot attest to long wearability just yet, but I think it is absolutely stunning, and I think several different people could also use this, and for a $12.50 price point, pretty fantastic. Um, the Little Mini Nomad, I love this. I already know and love their formula so, so much. Um, same with the Natasha Denona. I think this is such a cool, funky vibe. I think that you could go super pastel and super soft. You could deepen it up. You could go just very neutral. I, I like this. I like this a lot. Um, and again, her quality is 
is fantastic. I love everything overall. I'm very, very excited. Definitely think I got my $12 worth with Ipsy and my $25 worth with BoxyCharm. What do you guys think? Sound off below. I love you guys so much. Stay happy, healthy, and safe, and be your own best beautiful. Bye, beauties!